Hello, in this video I'm going to show how you can use Rotate to help when designing files for your cutter. To save time on the video I'm just going to use some pre-drawn shapes. For the first example I'll just work on this rectangle. So I'll come to Object, all the way down to Transform, to open the Transform options. You want to click on the tab Rotate. I'm going to enter the number here in Angle. So if I wanted to have 12 around here, 360 divided by 12 will be 30. So I will just enter 30. Before I continue, I must make a duplicate. So I'll duplicate first, then click Apply. I'll zoom in. As you can see, the center point, this little cross here, that is where it's pivoting. It is handy to know because you can move this and change it to a new location and get an entirely different look when you use Rotate. For this example, I'm just going to leave it in the center. So I'll duplicate again and apply. I actually prefer to move this up here, then I can just keep clicking between the two. Then when I've got the design alike, it's just a matter of selecting all the parts and going Path Union. I'll use the Solid Fill Ellipse for the next example. Once again, the point of rotation is going to be the center. Angle is 35. This time I'm just going to change it to 45. I'll move this back up here. Duplicate, apply. Just keep repeating duplicate and apply. When you've got your finished design, select them all. Go path, union. I'll just use this one. And I'll do that at 45 as well. So go duplicate, apply. Duplicate, apply. Duplicate apply. Select them all, path, union. With this design I'm just going to go one step further and show you an example of when you move the center point. So I'm just going to draw three little circles. Just duplicate them. I'm just going to zoom in, hold down the control key as I move them so they stay in line. Move that out the way. And I'm just going to go path union because I need these to act as one piece. Obviously I need to change the color or I'm not going to see it on here. I might change this one lighter. I can see they're a bit too big so I'll just change the size. What I want to do is have this new design go into each one of these points. So I have to move the center point where it's going to rotate. I'll show you what happens if it doesn't. Just duplicate and click apply. As you can see it's actually rotated here which isn't what I want. I want it to rotate on the same center as this. So first of all I need to find that this center. I'll double click and see I've got the cross here. I'll just come up here and drag two guides out. This can be done other ways. This is just the way I happen to do it. You can also see these aren't lined up very well, so I'll just move them over. Now I know this is the center here, and I need to move this center. So if I zoom in, click till it's there. You might not be able to see it very easily, but when you're trying it, you will. I'm just going to hold the mouse over it and hold down the control key. So as I drag it down, it will stay on the same line. I'll just come here and zoom in. You're not going to be able to see that very easily, but it is exact in the middle. I'm just zooming out so you can see the effect as it happens. So I'll duplicate it now and click Apply. Go all the way around. As you can see, every one of them is lining up the same as the original. That's because the lighter coloured shape and this little group of shapes are pivoting on the same centre point. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and just select each little group. I can see they're all selected. I'm just going to go Path Union. After applying Path Union, these will act as one piece. You can even duplicate these. Move them aside. I'll just draw a circle. Just send it to the back. Just align them. Then go path, difference. So I've got that design now in a circle. Just come back to this one, do the same path, difference. Just change the color so you can see them easier. 
for the snowflake I did do it different again to save time I'm just going to work with an ellipse just duplicate and rotate I might just make a few more duplicates I'll just use a guide again to help lining up don't have to use guides but I just prefer using them I'll just select all the pieces go path union so they'll act as one piece I'm just going to change the color again this time I'm going to move the point of rotation down so I'm just going to hold down the control key as I drag it down so it stays online you can see it's actually here now so when I rotate that's where it's going to rotate I got object transform if I'm making a snowflake there's six points so I'll need 60 degrees before I start rotating I'll duplicate apply and just keep going around close that so just select all parts go path union just change the color again so it's easier to see these are only a few examples of how you can use Rotate. If you'd like to see more ideas on how easy it is to create files for your cutter, visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.